inspired by Bruce Brown, who travelled the world of surfing in his documentary film Endless Summer from 1966. We headed out to explore our planet on snowmobiles. And since Sweden is our home, we start in Europe. Europe hosts a great deal of mountains. We have the Sierra Nevada in the south of Spain, with peaks reaching over 3,000 meters. The 400 kilometer long Pyrenees that divide Spain and France. The mighty Alps in Central Europe and its famous Mont Blanc, peaking at 4,810 meters. And finally, Scandana in the north. A 400 million year old mountain range that divides Sweden and Norway. Although there are many mountains, there are also many restrictions and snowmobiling is far away from being allowed everywhere. To ride these mountains, you have to go to certain areas. And Andorra, a tiny landlocked country between Spain and France, is one of them. Andorra is, Andorra is famous to the ski and the shopping. And it's a little country, free tax. You can buy everything here. Uh, we have uh, 100 people do snowmobile here in, in Andorra, not so, not too much. When you do snowmobile, you olvide todo. You don't think about problem. You don't think about work. Only on the snowmobile and the snow. You can look. Andorra is very, a very nice place. We have a lot of mountain. We have. Uh, snow, you can enjoy snowmobile here. Welcome to Andorra, my friends. The best way to explore a new area is by letting the locals lead the way. We found Laurent and his friends on YouTube. Yeah, downstairs is Paz de la Casa. It's a big, big resort. Okay, and over there you can see French. And this, and this area is the best area for the snowmobile and the powder. Uh, I like so much because the back country is only a snowmobile, you, and nothing more. No people, no, you know what I mean? It's a lot in the mountain. That's I like it. <laughs> nothing around here to me that's sacred except you, yeah, you. Nothing round here to me that matters Save you, yeah, you You're the one that reaches me, you're the one that I admire Every time we meet together I feel like I'm on fire Nothing matters to me and there's nothing I desire Save you, yeah, you Nothing round here I care to try for Save you, yeah, you Got nothing here to live or die for Save you, yeah, you As a kid I'd hear it, yes, in church all the time Make me feel so good inside, so peaceful, so sublime now nothing does remind me of that old familiar child to be you, yeah, you Used to run in the cemetery, dance and run and sing when I was a child And it never seemed strange Now I just pass mournfully by that place where the bones of life are piled I know something has changed I'm a stranger here No one sees me Say you Yeah, you Nothing anymore seems to please me Say you Yeah, you Your love hypnotizes me Your feet in spell Everything runs by me just like water from a well 
Everybody want my attention Everybody got something to say to say to you Yeah, you yeah. I'm in love with you an amazing week and we made wonderful friends. Med, med tanke på vilka förberedelser vi hade gjort inför resan och hur vi hade kommit i kontakt med dem vi skulle träffas och, och säga att vi har träffat sig helt fantastiska människor där nere. Vi träffade en, en kille som var 15 cm kortare än vad jag var. Det är bara Han var ju hur grym som helst, typ 36 basta. Och såg ut att han kom direkt från studieplan med välfriserad solbränn. Körde en fet jeep och körde i skoter, annan stekare. Vi hjälpte oss att flytta särskilt mycket. Vi hjälpte oss med allt. Fick så värsta barbecue-grejen uppe på fjället. It was the beginning of February and the snow lay deep in Sweden, so it's time for us to drive the 36 hours back home. When we finally arrived, there was no time to waste. There was a heavy snowfall and the next day was supposed to be sunny. So we decided to spend that day in the middle part of Sweden with Thomas Waddell. Lya snöåkning, det är mitt liv. Min passion och skoteråkning. Mycket snö, mycket klättra, mycket köra fast. Om man har kört fast om man fega, det är inte mig. Det 
brant klättring, mycket träd, svåra passager. Det lutar åt alla möjliga håll. När de där finns inte ett spår någonstans och du har ingen återvändare, du måste bara klara det. Man känner man full gas av, man bara räknar i topp och man bara sparkar sig fram, det går i 2-3 km i timmen, gångfart. Pulsen är max och man bara Aaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
We stayed at former WSA champion Carl Gustas and Shelley Ferguson's lodge in British Columbia and let them guide us around their area. Yeah, it's a great lodge. They spent a lot of time making sure you have the down quilts and the perfect thread count of the sheets. Everything's high end, so you have a great sleep, enjoy the place. Yeah, took the time to make sure that every aspect of your day, not just sledding, but coming back is you know, important as well. Shelly? Yeah, she's pretty spectacular. Lots of times I'll look over and she's right beside me or she's found some other line going up through the trees. So she's got awesome root binding skills and she can handle the sled awesome. I try to explain it like skiing because that's how it feels to me. Like riding or anything, any kind of sport they love to do, surfing or just that incredible awe of whatever it may be that you love to do and each person has their their sport that they love but you know for me it's just like you know snowmobiling feels like skiing it's that downhill descent that powder shot in the face the the awe of it right it's uh, i don't know everybody everybody's got their love of a sport so you just have to have to be able to find what that is and that's how you describe it to each person that true sensation this next section is dedicated to two riders that for many people have come to represent the terms backcountry and deep snow. Rob Alford and Jeff Kyle. That'd be wicked because you could probably get some good air time off that. Yeah, and go straight down to our top. Just go next to the tree and straight down. This, this whole zone is just such a sweet place where you can just sit on top and look down upon the riders and just get shot after shot after shot. You can fill a whole section right here in the secret zone. Anytime we're out there riding, the conditions can be awesome, the weather's awesome, your friends are awesome, but recognize avalanches can happen and you need to be prepared. Get the training, get the gear, and know how to use it. It doesn't matter what your activity, and it doesn't matter if you're a snowmobiler, skier, boarder, hiker, climber. It's all about being prepared before you go. Yes, avalanches are a part of the, are a part of being in the mountains, but there's no reason we can't be out in the backcountry and enjoying it for years and years and years.
and you're out there in incredible scenery with your friends and you carve in the snow and and climb and the terrain you see the scenery is just incredible and you uh, come off a little bump drop into the snow poof and and it's just an exhilarating experience the powder is you can't find it anywhere else other than the mountains and uh, and you can sled from Alaska all the way down the Rockies and, and other parts of the world and, and every day is going to be a different day. I mean, it can snow tonight, cover all of our tracks and tomorrow it's a whole new day. Avalanche safety is about having your whole group trained. If you are ever buried, you, you don't want to be panicking under that snow, hoping they can figure out how to do a rescue. You want to be calm, give yourself those extra minutes of oxygen, knowing that your friends know what to do, and they'll complete that rescue with speed and efficiency. Jesus. <laughs> Not safe, apparently. Not to say that jumping stuff like this is safe anyways, but... <laughs> After four weeks, we headed back to Sweden. This is late April and a wonderful time for warm and slushy conditions. We travel to the far northern parts of Sweden, well above the Nordic Polar Circle, to spend a weekend with friends from Rough Riders.
The first part of our exploration is over, but we will continue our journey in the next film. My country wrenching. Nothing like it. Everyone should do it this once in their life. How far away are we from the truck? I like to leave you when you need me the most.
Det är en